What's going on people of the internet? Let me go ahead and apologize for the wind. It is not gonna be going away. Everybody complains about the wind in my videos. I'm sorry, okay? It's it's really windy here. Like all the time. Every time we need to film, it's windy, okay? It happens, sorry. Get over it. Can't make that change. And my camera picks up every bit of the wind, so it just doesn't help. Everybody was talking about the cars that we filmed at the junkyard the other day. And what should be saved and what should be crushed and yada yada people were talking about the lumina and and then the falcon and well we didn't get any of those um the red civic we saved and everybody's like quit messing with egs get a del sol no not yet we just shh, just wait okay just wait there the del sol just wait okay it's coming just wait the eg was too cheap to pass up we got it but that's not what we're talking about today in my hand is a set of keys in case you can't distinguish the key, which is pretty bland looking, and you can't really see the name on it. Let's, uh, let's show you what we did bring home today. Bam! An 05 Kia Spectra 5. Yes, this was in the junkyard. And uh, it was just brought in. It had front end damage. Let me show you the extent of this damage. Yeah, this is it. It needs a fender, a hood, a bumper, and a headlight. The grill's in the trunk, and it's not broken. Yeah, I, uh, I don't really get it either. Um, it's not that bad. All this we can easily fix. Um, a little trimming on the metal, and the headlight will go right back in there. The bumper cover will fit back right, right back on. Uh, it's not like 100% perfect like it would be new, but it's going to work, and you're not going to be able to tell it was wrecked. Let's go ahead and start with under the hood. It has the infamous Kia dual overhead cam four cylinder. And the first thing we were talking about when we got it home was doing a timing belt and a tune up. But look at this a Gates Racing timing belt was installed on this vehicle at 93,000 miles. And the next replacement is recommended at 195,000 miles. The timing belt was, was replaced on 7 20 of 2012. It's now 2016. And what they say it should be replaced at 195,000 miles. That probably means it's about time for a for a timing belt, right? Well, let's see. Hmm. Nope, not even close. 126,000 miles. Get the dishes done. Get the dishes done. Oops. 126,755 miles. That's it. 126. That's all. Yeah. Oh, but it gets better. It runs. Okay. So maybe the transmission's bad. Oh. Nope. Transmission's fine. Got a little bit of pulley squeak. Motor works. Power steering works. And I know I know we don't have feel of vision, but the AC. There it goes. Ice cold. I need to get the little temperature going now so I can point it at the vent so you can see this. Just as cold as you'd want AC in a Kia. Has cruise control. It works. Radio. Let's turn the E. <laughs> Functioning radio. Gets better. Power windows. All four of which work, as you can tell, they're down. Power door locks. And remote entry. Oh, maybe it's the other key fob. One of the batteries is weak in the one. There we go. There it goes. Did you see that? Nope. Alarm system. Alarm yeah. Let's see. Lock. Unlock. Press it twice. And you can see over there the lock is...
<laughs> so our biggest issue is we're gonna scavenge around some other local parts yards and find us a fender, a hood, a bumper cover, and a headlight. Once again, we have a grill. And uh, the rest of the car is pretty straight. There's a teeny little, you can see it right there, a little ding in the door right there. We gotta find a set of matching rims, rear, everything is intact. A couple scuffs, we can buff this out. Maybe a door or do a, the, there's no crease, but this is dented in a little right here. Let's see. I'm thinking plunger that thing out. I think that'll do it. And then buff it really good to get some of the scrapes out of it where it was probably just pushed in the junkyard and stuff. So hit the unlock button again. Oh, we get light flashes with the. Awesome, okay. Now it's really dirty as you can tell. There's some air cleaner parts in the trunk. Looks like we're missing the rear hatch cover. Not a big deal. Junkyards will have all that storage all that good crap missing a spare we can throw one in it there's the grill that's fine remember to use all fingers when waving at an officer so that's unacceptable um yeah i i, I drove it up and down the road earlier for a good 10 minutes it's not overheating, it doesn't lose any fluid, it's maintaining oil and oil pressure, and it seems perfectly fine. So, yeah. Oh, and I'm pretty sure this is an 05. Let's see. 12 of 04. So, yeah, probably an 05 models would have tagged this. And what all do you got tied up in this one money-wise so far? 400 even. $400. 05 Kia Spectre. Now, someone's like, yeah, it's a Kia, though. Okay. You see Kias everywhere. These parts will be everywhere. You can buy the motor for $400. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 120,000 mile engine with an automatic. Everything functioning. That's worth $400. And we'll go back to the inside. I'm doing this video to show the car mainly before I start cleaning. I know we don't have the front end pieces yet, but a dirty interior drives me insane. So we're gonna go ahead and start with vacuuming it. It doesn't look like it's been cleaned in quite a while. The carpets are a little trashed. I'm just gonna shampoo them really good and put floor mats on it. And we think we're just gonna flip this one. It'd make a pretty decent flip. I mean, even with the carpets being rough and stuff, you can clean it up and someone's gonna overlook that just for the fact it's 120,000 mile Kia. 05 everything works keyless entry someone will want it for two thousand dollars twenty five hundred bucks you know some college kid or high school student or parents looking for their student a first car it's just dirty so yeah we're gonna clean this thing up and uh headliners in good shape everything but people ask a lot, you know, where do we get our cars? How do we get them so cheap? Where do you find all these? You just, you just gotta keep your eye out. Salvage yards are your local bet. And I am not talking about junkyards, people. No, 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 no. I don't mean go to your junkyard and try to buy a car out of there. Junkyards typically don't sell complete cars. Some of them do, but they take them and mark the price up. People bring them to them as junk cars. That junkyard will have one of these cars in there, fix the repairs it needs, and then put it up for sale for what you could do. I mean... You've got to think of it this way. Try places, for example, recycling centers, actual scrap yards, metal yards, places that just recycle metals. Lots of people bring in stuff like this. They don't want it anymore. They don't want to fix it. They just want it gone. And a lot of times they don't get, but I mean, for example, something like this probably brings right at about $200, maybe. Um, and the reason it does is because it had a couple aluminum rims so that bumps it up just a little bit the motor runs it has a catalytic converter on it they're just looking at it as metal they don't look at it as a car that just drove into their lot they're looking at it as a catalytic converter aluminum wheels and what type of metal that's all they do that's all they do they don't look at it as a running car so they're only going to pay out the people that brought it in there like i said about Right now, the price of scrap is really low. It's between $150 to $200 for a complete car. It doesn't matter that it runs. And this one came with a clean title. 
So no mysteries there. And you can go in there and be like, hey, before y'all turn that car into a toaster oven, would y'all be interested in selling it as a whole? So before it even goes through their books, a lot of times they'll be like, yeah, you know what, if you want it, give me X amount of money. And usually they try to double what they made just to double their money. So they're gonna say, okay, well, the guy brought it in for, let's say 200 bucks, you give me $400, you take it home. And that's how you do it. Junkyards, on the other hand, are not gonna be that way. A lot of junkyards, when they get the car, the title is immediately written off as salvage, and then it can, or not salvage, but, uh, I forget what it's called, but they pretty much mark out the title. It's no longer road red, road registrable. It's just a parts vehicle. But a lot of scrap yards and metal yards will try to make a couple bucks off of it before it goes through their books. So check on that. People ask me all the time what junkyard. It's, it's not junkyards. It's salvage yards. I mean, for example, go back to my other video when we explored the junkyard. It's called Buicks to the Moon. We spent, I think, 20-something minutes on film uh, trying to start up some Buicks that were in the junkyard. Guess what? We brought one of them home. This is the 92 or 89. Is that the 89 century? Yeah. 89 Buick century. With 152. With 150,000 miles. And this car runs, and this car drives. It has power windows, air conditioning, all the good stuff, matching wheels, good tires, and um, the paint's good on it. Y'all remember it from the video. Yeah, we saved that one for $400. You can't, you can't beat stuff like that. Once again, $400 car. They probably bought it out from the guy for $200. We bought it back for double what they made, or for double, for double what they paid. So they doubled their money. We got a car, still for next to nothing. With tax season coming, with tax season coming to an end, everybody getting their money back, and summer coming up, that car has AC, four good tires, matching wheels, and a nice paint job. Take that car clean it, wash it, wax it, Craigslist that motherfucker, $1,800. Someone's gonna look at it and go, that's... Oh yeah, we'll get to that. Someone's gonna look at that and go, well, that's way too much. I'll give you 12, sold. 1,200 bucks for a car you just paid $400 for, and all you did was wash, wax, and armor all it. This is where most of the money comes from for continuing on with other cars. And this other car he's mentioning is the Monte Carlo SS we have hiding in here and we'll get to that in another video thanks for watching guys i'm gonna go start cleaning up on this car even though the body is not done yet i want the inside to go ahead and be road ready so when we get the parts it's a bolt on wash wax wheels and send it on its way you got to start somewhere guys and since the motor doesn't need work this is where we'll be starting hit the subscribe button at the bottom if you want to follow our progress on the kia spectra if you don't that's okay too we're gonna do it regardless and uh yeah, any suggestions, stuff on cars, anything like that, you let us know. Hit that, hit that comment button in the bottom, type you out some words and whatnot, and we'll read them and get back with you. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay awesome.